Well, hello there, YouTube. We're sitting here, it's the day after Thanksgiving, and we had a great Thanksgiving yesterday, but the problem is we went out for dinner and we don't have any turkey. So, uh, what this YouTube video is about is fixing a turkey on the day after Thanksgiving, and uh, so you can have some turkey for some turkey sandwiches so you can watch the football. And uh, so we went over to the store this morning and picked up this bad boy, 14 pounds, for $3.47 with your uh, VIP savings card. So what we're going to do here, and this is also going to work for those of you out there that have probably heard on Thanksgiving Day a time or two where you heard your girlfriend say something like, I've done all the cooking here and I'm sick and tired of it. This is something you can do to relieve some of that stress. And we're going to show you. If you can munch your wrench and bend wrenches and make stuff and fix stuff, you can cook a turkey. So we're going to go through this today and show you how to do it. Uh, just for those of you that are wondering, this is my Hope Hat. Uh, today's Friday, tomorrow's the Iron Bowl, and Auburn's going to need a lot of hope. So I've been wearing my Hope Hat today. All right. So what we have is we've got a, uh, about a 14 pound turkey here and we're going to uh, take it out of its wrapper, wash it up, and pull the giblets out. We're also going to make gravy too, so we're going to show you that. So this will be a good, a good video, but stay, you got to stay tuned, okay? Don't just go shutting the video off now and thinking you know everything because you're going to learn something here if you keep watching. All right, so the first thing we got to do is little plug for my friends at Miller Lite because you need some of these. All right, so we've got the sink in front of us here. We're going to go ahead and take our scissors, cut this net off of here, take it out of the netting, all right, and then we're going to cut this bag off of here. Get this thing ready to go. Okay, we've got it. All the. I'm going to start rinsing it off here a little bit. These are kind of nasty. And we've got to take all the. Here's the uh, giblets. We're going to use that to make some gravy with here as we move along. But first of all, we're going to get this clean and get it in a roasting pan. And uh, got to reach in there. Make sure. Make sure. You reach down inside here and get all this business out of here, the neck. And there might even be some more stuff in here, but I don't think so. All right, we're good for that. So we're going to do a little cold water on it, rinse it off. It's always good to do this in the sink. And uh, don't let the water run too hard because it will spray all over. And girlfriend doesn't like that when it gets turkey juice all over the counter. Okay, this one has in it a little button little button right there. This is probably academic for those of you that have done this a few times, but this little beauty is going to pop up, or should pop up, when uh, this turkey is done. Now, one problem that we don't have here is, where I am, we don't have a meat thermometer. We went out to find one in the uh, mall today, and it was a zoo, and I said, hell with it, we don't need a thermometer. So, we're going to go ahead and cook this damn turkey and rely on that thing right there. And we've got our, our turkey today. Picked up a roasting pan, and we didn't have a rack. Sometimes you've got to have a rack to put in here to keep the turkey off the, uh, off the bottom here. But these little beauties right here that are uh, just some rolled up uh, aluminum foil. My girlfriend made three of these and put them in there for me. They're going to substitute as a rack. So what we're going to go and do is we're going to lay the turkey in there. Got it all washed off now. We're going to pat it dry a little bit. I'm going to set this right here. Get our turkey in there. Dry it out, get all the water out of there, these things here so it doesn't lay right on the bottom of that pan. We'll get us some uh, paper towels here and pat this little beauty and get it all ready to go. Got in some of the, crush, the crevices here. Now what we're going to do is we're not going to get it too complicated here. We're just going to melt some butter and a little salt and pepper and spread over this thing. 
and it's going to give it one of the nicest, roundest, beautiful um, uh, coatings on that that you're going to see that you'll ever believe. You won't, you won't even believe it. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to cut off that nastiness right there. We don't need that. There's kind of some business here. You can probably you can cook that if you want, but it just kind of looks like it dangles there. We'll throw that in with the uh, with the giblets and, and cook that that way. Okie doke. Got our turkey in the prep pan here. Went ahead and melted a little butter. And uh, probably melt a little bit. Really don't need to melt all the way. Just kind of get it so it's real soft. I kind of want to put it through it in the microwave and I got a little too much. Melt a little bit too much, but we'll go ahead and spread that on there. Okay, we'll just kind of, I'll give you a little, since I don't have a, a brush, we'll just kind of kind of spoon it over there and let it drizzle, drizzle on there a little bit. Just kind of letting that butter drizzle, spread it around there to give it a nice coating. You just use one cube of butter. That should be plenty. Now what you can do if you, uh, another way to just you can stick it right Stick us some softer butter right up underneath this skin right here. That works real good too. But uh, we're just going to spoon it over the top, and this beauty will be beautiful golden brown when we're done. Got uh, Virginia Tech and Virginia on ball game on right now. So we're going to get this in the oven, and we'll have maybe turkey sandwich later on this evening. And we've got our oven oven preheating to. Uh, 350. So we're getting close on that. Try to coat this as best you can. You're not going to get everything in here, but actually, what happens is you're doing this, the turkey's cold, so this butter kind of uh, recoagulates, if you might, if that's the right word, uh, on that turkey there. So this, is pretty good. this isn't rocket science, folks. You know, you just, if you've been. Uh, you know, if you listen to your girlfriends all the time, they might want you to think that this is complicated. That it's just, only some people can do this. Trust me, you can do this. You've got to debunk that myth that uh, everybody thinks it's complicated. You just, you need a little fire, some heat, and some good stuff to make it taste good, and you're going to come out just fine. Now, the other thing I'm going to do here in just a moment is I'm going to take an onion, and I'm going to cut up an onion, probably just take a couple onions, cut it in half, and we're going to stuff it in this cavity here, probably along with a with an apple. We'll take an apple and cut that in half and stuff it in there. It kind of keeps it good and moist and it'll give it a little flavor. So we'll go ahead and get some onions out. All right, we're back now. We've got the, uh, got the turkey in our pan. We've got our butter all smeared over the top of it. With the, got our salt and pepper on there. One thing, most turkeys have this little plastic doohickey right here that uh, holds the, uh, the legs together. It's probably not going to melt in your turkey if you want the oven, but why risk it? I just pull this thing out and make sure it's out of there. All right, so we've got our oven preheated to 350, we're ready to go. Okay, we're moving right along here. We've got our turkey all uh, covered with butter, salt and pepper. What I've done here is I've cut up a couple onions. We're just going to stuff them in there like that. And I've also took a, this happened to be a honey crisp apple, so I just cut that in quarters. We're going to stuff that in there. Sweetness probably. And give it a little color. We've got a carrot. We're just going to stuff a carrot in there. And away we go. And see that butter is kind of coming all on me here, so i got to put that shit back on there. We're going to take that beauty right now, and we're going to put it in the oven. Got our oven preheated to 350. And we'll put it in so we can see this. I'm going to put it in so I can see that button right there. So there's the button right there. That's going to be our temperature indicator since we don't have a meat thermometer, which is a bad deal. You've got to have a meat thermometer on these. So we're going to uh, take a little bit of chance here. But we'll do okay. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash up my giblets. And we're going to put those in a pot with some celery some onions, some carrots chopped up, and uh, let those boil a little bit. It's going to make this place smell awesome over the next couple hours while that turkey's cooking. And then we'll use those uh, 
those gibbets and some of the uh, the stock that it's going to make to make our gravy. This is going to be good, so stay tuned. Okay, we've taken our uh, giblets and we've washed them off real good and put them in the pan here and uh, shifted gears from Miller Lite to my other favorite drink after 5 o'clock. It's Pendleton. Pendleton Canadian whiskey, it's the best. Ah, yummy. All right, and so I cut up the carrot, an onion, and one stalk of celery, and a, uh, a few garlic cloves. We're going to put all that right in there. Probably should have a bigger pot, but I think it's covered up with some water. Mm, 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 mm. Just enough to, we don't want this thing to boil over because we're going to let her sit on the stove there. So I filled it up to about, maybe right there with water, just enough to cover all the vegetables and the, uh, and the giblets. So we'll put that on the stove. Put her in the back here. Turn that beauty on and get it boiling good first, and then we'll turn it down. Now, once we get it boiling good, we'll turn it down, but just do a slow roll boil there for probably the next uh, few hours. And it'll start generating some good, good aroma in the kitchen here. And uh, the next thing you're going to do, this is the tough one for a lot of you guys out there. I know that. Uh, you got to clean up your shit. And you don't want your girlfriend getting all over your ass or back or whatever you want to say about having a messy counter, cross contamination, all that business. So you got to, once you kind of get to this point, you're going to clean everything up. Girlfriend's going to be real happy. Things will be real clean and it'll be pretty much over. Then you just sit back and uh, watch it and smell it and it's going to smell real good. Watch a little football and we'll come back when we're ready. All right, got everything all cleaned up here, spick and span. Dishes are pretty well picked up and put away. And uh, we've got our giblets on the uh, on the stove with our vegetables in it. Probably need to put a little salt and pepper in there. Forgot to do that, so we'll do that. Turkey's in the oven. And uh, so let's put a little salt and pepper in those... Uh, giblets and we'll be good to go all right there's our uh, our giblets are in there with the vegetables we just salt and peppered it we'll put the top on bring that to a boil and then we'll turn it back and just let her do a rolling simmer for the next several hours it's already starting to smell pretty darn good actually so stay tuned don't go but don't go away now all right YouTube we're about three hours into this bad boy and it, it has turned out good we're going to go over here in just a moment and show you exactly how this thing turned out. There we are. There is one nice turkey. Nice golden brown on it. You see the buttons popped up here. That, that butter and that pepper and, and salt, that just worked wonders right around there. Made it really, really nice. Look at how golden brown that is. That's what you want to get. Now over here, we've got our giblets. They've been uh, simmering there for probably the last two and a half, three hours. We're ready to go with those. And we're going to make some gravy and we'll have this thing all wrapped up here in a moment. We took our uh, giblets to run the stove, ran them through this colander here. And uh, now we're going to start picking them apart a little bit and get the, uh, uh, get the meat out of it. And we're going to put them in the frying pan here with a little of the stock and a little bit of the grease from the turkey. And we'll put together a little bit of a roux and make some gravy here. So stay tuned. Some bitch, and shit's hot. No, no questions about that. Jesus. Well, I'm just gonna throw all that shit away. Okay, we've got our. Uh, uh, we you use the neck bones, some of the giblets, got them in the frying pan there with the uh, stock that we had from our giblets. Now we're going to go ahead and make a little bit of a roux here to uh, start working with that to make some gravy. Okay, we're making a little bit of a roux here. We'll try to whip it around pretty good here to get any lumps out of it and whatnot. Water. 
turkey grease here. Throw that in there. Okay, we've got our our broth here stock warmed up a little bit. And uh, we'll whip up this roux a little bit more to make sure we don't have any lumps in it. And we're going to start pouring that in there and uh, stirring at the same time. Got to keep stirring this in here. All right, we've got a little salt and pepper in there, starting to thicken up. Looking good. Okay, here YouTube. I'm going to show you the, what's getting close to the final product here. We've got the gravy. That's looking pretty good. Got our turkey ready to go. Now all we're going to do is cut sandwiches out of this and maybe have a hot turkey sandwich probably tomorrow. This is getting a little late tonight. And we had a late lunch, but we're getting all ready to go give us something to do while we're watching football games. Uh, so anyway. All right, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm telling all you guys who can out there bend wrenches, work on stuff, something like that. You can cook a turkey and make everybody happy on Thanksgiving Day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. Love to hear from you all. So enjoy. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you had a great day yesterday with all your family. And enjoy the weekend of college football. Don't forget the hat for hope right here. We need your help. Take care. Talk to you all later.